to all i hope you're all doing really really well in this short video i would like to show you how you can achieve this uh, pipe routing in a very easy and uh, fast way the idea for this tutorial has come from all places a solidworks short on youtube so let's get started start by creating a new file let's save this file as pipe routing as good measure, we will start by creating a variable set. I will cancel the creation of a new variable. Let's select the variable set in our tree view. In the property view, we can rename it as dimensions. As a good practice, I have acquired the habit of placing all of my bodies inside a new part. Let's create a new part select it in the tree f2 on the keyboard to rename it as pipe routing i will create a new body select it f2 on the keyboard we will rename this as main body or better yet main shape making sure that our main shape is active by double clicking in the tree view i will create a new sketch on the xy plane we will use the rectangle tool and by clicking the M key on your keyboard, you can cycle through the different construction modes of the rectangle. Let's create a center rectangle and select the dimensioning tool. Selecting this edge, click. I want to take advantage of my newly created dimensions variable set. So I will click this expression icon. I will choose my variable set and if we have various files opened, we need to make sure that we choose the right one. So I want the variable set in the pipe routing file, dimensions base. I will create the width property of 40 millimeters. Click OK. Let's dimension the length property. Again, click the expression editor icon, select the correct variable set. We will create a property named length of 80 millimeters. OK, click OK and close the sketch. With our sketch selected, we will use the pad tool to extrude for 40 millimeters. Again, click the expression editor icon, select the dimensions variable set. Property name will be height and the value of 40 millimeters. Click OK select the dimensions variable set in the tree view and now we can play with the various properties of our cube by selecting this little triangle here we can select our draw style and i want wireframe let's select this edge here this edge here by pressing control on your keyboard this edge here and this edge here and we will fillet it again press the expression editor icon let's select our dimensions variable set the property will be fillet size and let's give it a 10 millimeter radius press ok v7 on the keyboard to get back to our flat lines display mode let's create a new body select it in the tree view f2 on the keyboard we'll uh, rename it as pipe v3 on your keyboard for wireframe display with our pipe body active we will select these edges on the main shape body with the edges selected we will create a new shape binder because the pipe body is the active body in the document the binder will be created in uh, this coordinate system we can now hide our main shape select our binder go into the view pane of the property view and we can alter its appearance to make it a little bit better visible in the viewport now i need to create a datum plane and i want to map it on this edge here so i will select it in the 3d view and press the datum plane icon as attachment mode i will choose normal to edge click ok select our datum plane create a new sketch and i will create a circle dismiss the tool by right clicking it kr on the keyboard for a radius constraint and we want to use the expression editor we will use the dimensions variable set and as a property name we'll name it pipe radius and we'll give it a four millimeter value 
press OK and we will close our sketch. Let's hide our datum plane. I will select my sketch in the 3D view and use the Additive Pipe tool. We can now add edges, V7 on the keyboard to change the display mode. We can click Add Edge and add edges one by one, or we can directly select the object and the whole path will be filled with the extrusion of our sketch. Let's press OK. We can now select our pipe, go into the view pane of our property view, expand the shape appearance properties. Let's change the diffuse color to something a little bit more appealing and let's give it a transparency of 40%. We can unhide our main shape also and by selecting our variable set, data pane of the property view, we can change the various properties that we've set along the video. Let's change the pipe radius to something like 2 millimeters or modify the width of the main shape. We can also play with the color and transparency of the main shape. So I will select it. I will choose a different diffuse color to something like this blue here and I will give it a 40% transparency. Let's change some more parameters of the variable set, something like 15 millimeters fillet size. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching till the end. And again, thank you to our sponsor. And this brings us uh, to today's uh, sponsor, Justway. Justway is a company that specializes in prototyping and small volume production, making it the perfect one-time stop shop uh, for all your DIY project needs. They kindly offered uh, to sponsor my small YouTube channel, well aware of uh, the small viewer base, uh, but at the same time uh, knowing that they are sponsoring a open source project. And I really think this is awesome. It is really nice working with them as I don't have the manufacturing uh, capabilities and expertise that they can provide uh, for my projects. As you can see, getting a quote uh, from them uh, is really easy and they offer all kinds of servicing, ranging from 3D printing to machining, sheet metal and a whole lot more. Please uh, use the affiliate link in the video description, this way they know uh, that uh, our free videos are viewed and I also get a small percentage of the quote uh, helping uh, me keep this channel running. Also a big shout out to all my Patreons that uh, kept this channel running for a really, really long time. Thank you very much for viewing my video and I'll see you all the next time.